I know a stripper who saw a gyna and doctor was a client. <laughs> no. I mean, did he go back? I feel like he just he just saw like the full he he saw the white jersey in the back room for like thousands of dollars. Isn't that what they do with the you know in GTA? Where you, if you spend enough money, that you can go to the back and then she dance for you and then, and then she'll start making out with you. Oh. <laughs> I didn't get those spits earlier than you! Oh my god, I'm so hot. Ew, uh, sorry. The doctor was far more embarrassed than she was. She said, I think this makes us even. Most guys can't even pay to get this view. He was almost non-verbal. <laughs> I mean, that is pretty awkward, but then again, okay, here's the thing. If you're gonna be a gynecologist, and you're gonna go to a strip club, you have to go to one out of town. I'm sorry, you can't go to one in town and expect none of the girls to end up at your clinic. <laughs> you have to have the smallest braid in the world. <laughs> what do you mean? Come on, man. Spent all that time studying medicine. He didn't study common sense. <laughs> I mean, the Tiffany that you guy know at the strip club, he'd he'd see more at work and did. <laughs> I mean, I don't think it's quite the same. I don't think, you know, I don't think seeing the inside of a hoo ha is quite the same as getting a sensual dance. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I got the last row for you. Thank you. The gyno office could have strobe lights at a beach. <laughs> That's where I want to go. <laughs> Do you imagine? Oh my god, that would make it so much less stressful. Oh my god. But. That and, like, heating up the tools. I'm sorry. Okay, anyway. Maybe it's TMI, but damn. <laughs> I got the derpiest derp thing you. I have to ask. Is it true some women prefer male OBGYNs as opposed to the female ones because they're more gentle down there? I've heard that online. That is not a thing in my... Experience. But also it was in Japan. So I went to like a very nice clinic where they were all women. This was like a few years ago. And they were all women and they were very nice to me. And it was awkward because they made small talk about like, Oh, so you speak English. Oh, wow. <laughs> Every time I go to a gynecologist in Japan, the only thing I can think of is like, maybe they're looking at me like a specimen. <laughs> they're like, I wonder how different it is down there. And then they're like, oh. <laughs> I don't want to think about that, you know? <laughs> this is why I don't want to be able to read people's minds. <laughs> oh my god, I need to shower! <laughs> shower, me time now! I got those for two hours, thank you! I remember hearing on Trashy Radio Show that an OBGYN once said the worst thing to see was a 90 year old bat a very young woman. I have heard word. What the? See, that is the type. That is, that is why I specifically don't think I want to go to men. I, you know, as much as I hate to say it, you don't know their intentions. You know? That guy's intentions clearly were not great. So <laughs> you know what I mean? <clears throat> I would like some nice ladies to take care of me. Or Loki. Loki can be my gynecologist. I'm gonna go now. <laughs> If they're gay, I feel like 
they'd be even rougher just because... I don't know why. I feel like they would. Just because they don't have that, that empathy. But they also don't like women in that way. Maybe, I don't know. Is that... I mean, it always depends on the person, you know? There are good... I don't want to... You know, I'm not out here saying there are bad male gynecologists that are straight, okay? I'm sure there are some fine men who are in it because they, they care about women's health, okay? You know what I mean? I'm just making jokey jokes over here. <laughs> I'm just making jokey jokes. Wait, where are we going? I'm gonna raid somebody. I don't know who... Oh my god, my wife is on. Everybody shut up. We're raiding my wife. 